Hello guys, welcome back once again, it's me GM Samurai and today we are reviewing a game between a uh, Tiger Hiller person against Herman Gruten which was played in Hugenven in 2007 so in this game Tiger had white pieces and he started with e4 so uh, you need to know that Tiger was actually a d4 player and uh, previously but now he, uh, but he started playing e4 with a very good result but in this yeah so all right then also tiger i think wrote the tigers modern if i'm not uh, if i'm not uh saying wrong i think he wrote the book uh tigers modern actually so tiger is a grandmaster a very is, I think it's a Sweden Grandmaster, a very experienced Grandmaster. So, all right, let's go with the game. E4, C5, knight f3, d6. Now we have d4 takes, takes knight f6, knight f3, and a6. We have the knight or variation of the Sicilian defense. So now Tiger chose the bishop e3 move, which probably nowadays a lot of people play this move. It's a modern move. It is actually one of the main moves in this position for white. There is more aggressive uh, move here for white, which is bishop g5. So, all right. And the following setup is like f4, queen on f3, bishop d3, and castle long. So, and then you have g4, then you give your bishop on f6, g5. That's the normal setup for white. So, alright, but in this position, Tiger played bishop to e3, so then we have e6, queen d2, bishop e7, f3, knight c6, and g4, right now I'm going for the attack on the king side, castles, and castles, and then I'll takes, takes, and b5, so, why are I attacking on this side with their pawns, as you see, and black attack also with their pawns right here. So the game continued with the move g5. So now the opponent of Tiger played knight to d7 because if you you say why not knight on h5 and stopping the h pawn from moving, so it means that white has no uh, attack. But it's not true because white can just develop their bishop and then play f4, and the uh, knight on h5 will have a lot of problems. So we have. Knight to d7, h4, rook b8, and now we have bishop to e3, which apparently is the idea actually of bishop e3 is to protect the pawn on g5 and then play h5. But there was also a, the, the best I think here, yeah. The idea, another idea which better was just king b1, and if black uh, tried to uh, try to put the knight on c4, which is their main idea. The, their main idea, which is knight e5. So then, why can play queen g2? And then after, and now the oh, sorry. So black needs to play bishop d7, and then we have f4. And now, and now knight c6 back and it's playing because if knight c4 actually, they're just. You actually, oh, no, you, all right. Firstly, you don't need to take on c4, right? You actually don't need to take. So apparently, the b file is not open. So and white has a free attack. So, um, but here Tiger played bishop to e3, and here was from black side was played queen a5. A better move right here was, I think, just to follow the move, the idea of knight e5. This idea, knight e5. Knight e5. 95, 94, and after f4, go for knight c4, takes, takes, and black's position is alright, and they also have attack, so they're not, uh, any tempos back. So, alright, here, let's play queen a5, and now, uh, tiger played king b1, a normal, normal idea, normal, normal move in this position to protect the a2 pawn. And b4, knight to e2, knight c5, and knight d4. So now 
white is turning knight c6 so we should be seven was played and now h5 going for the normal g6 idea so now rook d8 and g6 the idea what we uh, we talked about talk about and now bishop f6 putting the bishop on a bird i hang on right here and now and the best move right here for white takes which was played in the game and now uh black has weaknesses on g7 and on e6 which white need to play on this two weaknesses and also the king is a little bit not safe right here so yeah and the game was played here it was played rook g1 and now knight to h4 and we come to the critical position of the game and in this position white made a big blunder but it, because in this position white is better and they're winning because they have a specific idea right like now can you find the idea actually if you pause the video and try to find the idea all right so let's see the first the move that was played the move that was played was bishop to h3 and it looks a very normal move because you just tack the weakness of uh, of black yeah but you don't need to forget that black also have a counterplay they also have attack you don't need to uh forget about the plans of the opponent and here it's it's apparently uh why well, forgot about that and now there's tactical blow right here knight to c3 check so why did you take it takes and now it looks like knight b3 is a normal move attacking the queen and but here black has a very beautiful move bishop takes e4 so now white can't take on e4 because then the queen is uh black takes the queen and the knight is pinned and it can't take the queen and so now here white need to play queen c1 it's the only move and now Black has a, a beautiful idea right here also. Rook takes b3 and a takes b3. Which, this is the game. We are following the game right now. And rook b8, putting the other piece into the game. And now, as a logical person, white took on e4. But here, black found a move and white reside. There's a fourth mate right now, right? Can you find the first mate? Alright, so here the a very beautiful move is root to b3 check, white to take it, and now the move very beautiful move c2 check. And here let's see the a ver the variants. So the variations that white has. So if they take with a king right here, there is just check with a queen, king b1 and check and white to play here and check mate so if here queen takes then there is a mate on a1 checkmate so that's why actually in this position uh white resigned in this game so let's go back don't forget that we have and i see an idea right here see the idea with that white hat in this so now when you saw the future of the game uh, try to find again the move that white played in this position all right so white played bishop to c4 and you'll ask why where is the difference in this move because you also you, you attack the six point yeah it's the same thing but it's not the same thing because right now uh after knight c3 the the you can just take and just queen c1 and if and if because in the previous var variation the bishop was here yeah so in this in this particular if you think that the bishop is right here all right then there is this move bishop takes d4 we need to take and then the bishop opens the file and we get made it but here it can't you can't do this because our bishop can go back in this square so that's the difference between these two moves 
because the bishop can come to the defense and help the defense. So you can't play knight c3 and the pawn on e6 is attacked so you need to play d5 which is the most mo normal move and now you just play bishop to b3 and uh, black has a lot of problems because the king is not not on a safe square it's a, he, the king is on a diagonal of the bishop the rook is, is open file of the rook so maybe in the future there is something of the idea of knight e6 so apparently that's why uh black is not good in this position but as we saw in this position yeah bishop h3 was not the best move and uh black found a very beautiful idea here rook takes b3 and c2 and this position white resigned so what a game yeah White had that chance, that big chance, and they just forgot about the uh, forgot that black also black also play. They also have attack. You can't forget about the threats of your opponent. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Be sure to like the video because it helps me a lot. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace.